So I don't know if you heard, but something absolutely crazy just happened in the credit world. In this country, two of the biggest credit card companies, Capital One and Discover Financial, have agreed to merge in a $35 billion deal. If approved by regulators, the deal would combine two of the largest credit card companies in the U.S. The merger would be an all-stock deal worth just over $35 billion. And with this news comes a lot of questions, concerns, and worry as to what happens next and what this can mean for you. In this video, I'm going to break down everything we know so far and what the new future could look like for Capital One and Discover Financial customers moving forward. So let's head over to my computer and break everything down. All right, we are at my computer and we're on CNN business right now because this is where I want to start this video. I want to educate you guys on exactly what happened in case you don't know. And it says here at the bank announced and they're talking about Capital One that Monday evening it is acquiring Discover Financial Services DFS in a 35.3 billion all stock deal if approved by regulators and shareholders. Capital One's CFO acquisition will create the biggest U.S. credit card company by loan volume. And it says, what does that mean for you? That's what we're going to be getting into in this video. But go ahead and let me know in the comments. Chime in. What are your thoughts on this? Are you nervous? Are you scared? You know, we're going to be breaking some of this stuff down again. But, you know, let me know in the comments what you're feeling and what you're thinking as we kind of go through this video. And now something that Matt Schultz said, the chief card analyst at Lending Tree, he says that this marketplace that's dominated by the big players is going to shrink a little bit more now. It's unclear whether Capital One will adopt the Discover payment system or may set up a payment network that allows the parallel use of Discover and second payment networks like Visa. This is crazy. This is crazy because what this is essentially saying is obviously we know the Visas, the MasterCards, you know, Discover and Amex. Those are the four major uh, payment networks. And so now with Capital One taking over Discover, you know, are they going to be wanting to just use Discover's network and kind of have their Capital One big brand behind it now right so this is going to be major things for mastercard and visa we're going to get into this a little bit more so uh make sure you stay tuned and if you're enjoying this video so far go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to the channel hit that bell for notifications so you will be notified every time i drop a new video and so now i want to go ahead and touch on a key element that i am personally worried about and if you have any type of discover cards you should be worried about too now if you have a discover card you you notice their customer service is just a plus in my opinion they have the best out of all the credit card companies and it's not even close and right now we're looking at a list from bankrate.com as we see here american express is number one but who's number two it's discover and it says right here discover is tied for the number two spot in jd's power 2023 study along with bank of america with 629 points out of 1000 that's higher than the major issuers average of 609 not only does discover offer a consumer friendly mobile app that lets you monitor your account make payments and redeem rewards but it promises that its customer service is based in the U.S. And why Discover's customer service is so good, the CEO states that the key to Discover's exceptional customer service is the technology the company continues to invest in. You have a Discover credit card. You can reach out to customer service by phone or email 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And again, this is very true. If you have a Discover card, you know this is true and uh, we already went over the US based thing so these are just elements as to why their customer service is so good and again this is really so huge because if we're looking at the largest credit card issuers right now currently as we see here the number one spot is Chase with 602.1 billion American Express is 2 with 547.6 billion City at the three spot Capital One as we see here at the four spot with 272.6 billion and then we got Discover in the six spot with 105.8 billion dollars right so these two are now merging that that's it's scary right these two banks are merging so not only you know we talked about this the payment networks the customer service but these are two of the top six largest banks in the world merging together we've kind of had bank of the west and bmo harris merge and some of these other banks but on this massive scale it, it's, it's it's something that we haven't seen before so it, it's, it's really crazy and another key element i wanted to touch on was the credit card rewards as we know capital one has their own credit cards discover has their own credit cards as well so how is that going to work and it says in terms of credit card rewards all in one card issuing payment network could be a boon for consumers it says some experts 
experts say Capital One could beef up its rewards. The theory goes that by having its own payment network, Capital One would save money because it wouldn't need to be paying others, allowing it to offer better rewards as a result. Similarly, Discover's network could become a stronger competitor, forcing Visa, MasterCard, or American Express to lower their fees that they charge businesses to accept payments on their respective networks. This is this is crazy, right? So if you're a business owner, you know, and you have a merchant account, you know, you have to pay different fees for American Express, for MasterCard, for Discover, for Visa. They all charge different fees. So with that being said, with Discover now forming with Capital One, again, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express, they may have to drop their fees to compete with Discover and their new partner with Capital One. And also too, with the fees and the APRs, we have to talk about this as well. It says flashy rewards like cash back and travel points are major draws that get people to sign up for cards. But the reality is that the perks often shadow the fine print. That is the annual fees, the late pay charges, and the annual percentage rates. Right. It goes on to say most people don't pick a car imagining that they won't use it correctly. Russ says that's just human nature. And this is where it gets interesting. As we scroll down right here, it says in terms of interest rates, I don't think we know for now what will happen. But we can be concerned that Capital One's approach will become the new norm at Discover. And this is what I was alluded to about Discover. We already know they have exceptional customer service, but are they going to adapt some of Capital One's fees? We just don't know. And this is something that you always need to be prepared for. Again, if you are a Discover customer or if you are a Capital One customer. So back on CNN Business, we do have some updates on what is going to be happening with this merger. So it says, for starters, all Capital One debit cards will be switched from MasterCard to Discover Network within the first few years from when the deal is finalized. Richard Fairbank, the founder and CEO of Capital One, said in a Tuesday morning investor call, Discover cards are already accepted at 99% of all U.S. merchants that allow customers to make credit card purchases, according to the company. But Fairbank said people mistakenly believe that share is a lot lower. So that's something you want to make sure you are aware of with Capital One. If you have a bank account with them and you use their debit card that network is going to be getting switched over to discover in the first couple of years that this merger happens and i know right now they're saying potentially this deal is not finalized yet has to go through regulators things of that nature but this deal is supposed to finalize at the end of 2024 or at the beginning of 2025 if again everything does finalize and go through uh properly so senator elizabeth warren urges regulators to halt capital one's acquisition of discover and she terms this as a dangerous move in the financial landscape and she has called upon federal regulators to intervene and prevent capital one's acquisition of its competitor discover so again this is all not just peaches and roses man there's a lot of different uh senators and people in congress that don't like this move um across the board and so we'll see if this is something that actually does take place and something that does actually happen so you just want to monitor this if you're a capital one uh user if you're a discover user as well you want to pay attention i think you're going to be okay for the next you know at least year um and then we'll kind of just monitor this and see what does happen in the coming months as to if this gets finalized or not so i hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video today subscribe to the channel hit that bell for notifications so you will be notified every time i drop a new video and if you're new to this channel i do go over business funding and how to fund your business so if you have a business and you're looking to get business funding and you want to learn exactly what you need to do to get your business fund in 2024 go ahead and watch this video right here i break down literally a to z how i will fund my business from scratch in 2024 so go ahead and check that video out and i'll see you in that one